Hey guys, um, sorry I didn't vlog today, I kind of forgot, but um, I'm going to tell you what I did today. I deleted my AC today, um, I also deleted the AIC, I believe that, was, that thing is called, you know, it goes like right there normally, um, and I also deleted my clutch fan, which is not there anymore. And I have a brand new, co well, not brand new, I have a used coil radiator. I picked it up for $50. Fucking fantastic. I got new ISR hoses, which is, you know, those are 50 bucks. I also did a new water pump, brand new thermostat. I didn't do a new outlet or anything. I don't need to do that. Um, also deleted the charcoal canister. That is not there anymore right there on the ground um but i hear when you delete the charcoal canister the egr is kind of null and void now so i believe i have to i might as well delete the egr as well um so yeah i i deleted a good amount of stuff today the car i burped the car a little bit there's a little bit of rust in the system so i'm going to i'm going to flush it out i did flush it out the best i can like what i did is uh i removed the water pump and then I just ran a hose through it pretty pretty good and got a little bit of rust out. Um, the radiator had a little bit of ho a little hole in it in one of the um, the fins, and I took it to a radiator shop and I got it welded up. Other than that, you know, the car, you know, I don't even have fans on it right now, so I warmed it up. I let it burp. It didn't even overheat. I had the heater on the whole time. It's just sitting literally. Um, the coil radiator disperses a lot of heat from the stock radiator. The stock radiator is not... I would suggest getting a coil radiator. Um, any triple wall radiator will disperse the heat really well. This disperses disperse the heat very, very well. I could tell. Um, just having it idling, it didn't even go above where it's supposed to go. Um, but yeah... Other than that, all I have to do with this car now is I want to redo the clutch because I did a manual swap on this car. This car was originally automatic. Um, I want to redo the clutch. I want to do the front seal and the rear seal. I want to fix the oil pan. I have an oil pan leak on there. Also, I need to do power steering rack bushings, and I'm going to go with the PBM ones on there. Um, other than that... Oh, I also did the cap and rotor, uh, new spark plugs. The wires seemed okay, but I bought new wires. I put the new ignition coil because the ignition coil that I had on there, the ignition coil wire that I had on there looked like poo. Um, the car actually seems like it's idling way better. But the problem that when you delete, delete the I, C, I, no, the A, C, I, well, no, A, I, C, is uh, I, f I noticed that idle when it was just chilling for a minute there it would it seems like it bogs out a little bit because i believe it's trying to get the exhaust gases into the intake and you know warm it up faster or something like that and it would bog out and it seemed like it was a weird idle um but other than that if you just give it a blip of the throttle it seemed okay um other than that you know um that's what i've been doing i've been dailying the kooky I bought a new front bumper for it. Um, I need to go pick that up. I'm also getting my other stuff that I need to get from LA, hopefully soon. And uh, to finish this up, I'm gonna get a fan shroud. I'm gonna run it to a relay. I'm gonna run it to a switch on the inside of the car. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to delete the EGR and the EGR pipe. Just delete it all, and then I, you know, I'll do all that stuff. And it should seem pretty good. Um, I might get a new intake because I have intake. I have a stock intake box right now. Um, other than that, you know, this this car seems like it's running pretty good now. It's a way idling way better. Hopefully, I can get it driving again. Um, but yeah, this is oh. If you guys didn't know, I have an angle kit. I have it extended. The stuff extended. Hold on, I have it. It's locked, but this will give you a perspective of how much angle I have. Excuse the heater running right there.
Okay, there you go. Yeah, that's my angle kit right there. But, yeah. Um, uh, I was thinking doing offset rack spacers and rack bushings at the same time. But I'm not sure. Um, we'll find out. I need to do an angle kit on that. I need to get suspension done on that still. Other than that, you know, I'm, I'm pretty pumped. Uh, I'll post this up later today. I Sorry I haven't posted, guys. I've just been really busy. Um, and, yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know if you guys want to see anything else. Um, yeah. Alright, guys. Um, hopefully you guys saw that video of the body shop. The thing was amazing. Um, the GT500 is what my girlfriend wants. That's been her dream car since she was a little kid. Um, right now, I'm just draining my diff. And this is what the fucking end looks like. Oh my god. Look at all the metal shards. That is all bad. That is all bad. Um, I did do... I need to post that other video of the update that I did on this car, on the... 13. I'm just doing like all maintenance and update like and stuff because I haven't done it in a while. Um, but other than that, you know, that's about it. Car is running pretty good. Uh, I want to adjust the brakes. I'm draining the trans fluid, I'm draining the diff fluid, and then I'm going to maybe adjust the e brake in the rear, run a switch for my e fans, and then go from there. Um, other than that, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. I'll let you guys know what's going on. Uh.